Hello everybody, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Ozana David. I am here today to prompt us to pray for the land of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, the land of Israel. After the declaration of Jerusalem as the capital city of the nation of Israel, on the 8th of December, I heard clearly from God while I was sleeping. Uh, God spoke to me, and this is what God told me. A fight against Israel is duplicated. Pray for Israel. A fight against Israel is duplicated. Pray for Israel. The devil is not happy. He is fighting to make sure the land that is given to the people of Israel is taken away from them. But I want to draw our attention, the attention of all Christians, even all Jews and all lovers of the truth, to the word of God. I want to read Psalm 122. Verse 6, Psalm 122, 6. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Verse 7. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. 8 and 9. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. If you are a Christian and you don't have love for Jerusalem, I question your Christianity. Please pray for Jerusalem. Pray for Israel. Also, I want to call on all Christians to pray for Donald Trump. God has used him and God will continue to use him. He is a human being. Please pray for him. There is uh, a video I did concerning calling all people to pray for Donald Trump and because of the, as a result of a revelation I had uh, that Christians were pulling away from him. Please, this is a call. The whole world is now rising up, rising up. I mean, when I, mean the, when I say the whole world, I don't, I don't mean everybody in the world, but people from different parts of the world rising up against Jerusalem. If you love Jerusalem, please pray for Israel. Pray that the devil will never succeed. And as many that are planning to raise down Jerusalem and destroy the Jews, destroy the Jews and also destroy uh, Christians in the land of Israel, let God alone raise a standard against it. The Bible says that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. Please pray for Jerusalem, pray for Israel, pray for Jews, pray for Christians, that the will of our God may come to pass. This is the end time. We are waiting to see the erection of the third temple in Jerusalem. Please support Jerusalem. If you love our God, don't sleep. Raise up a cry and pray for this holy city. Thank you. God bless you.